Hello and welcome to another pre-recorded video uh, on this channel. I decided, you know what, I'm going to do another one. Uh, the one I did the other day, actually, has got quite a few, uh, a few uh, views on it. So I was actually surprised because I'm not really one for pre-recorded videos. But hey, I thought, you know what, let's do another one. So today, we're going to play Isaac again, of course. And I'm going to be playing the Daily Challenge. Now, I'm not too sure if anybody or a lot of people still do the Daily Challenge or even interested in But, you know, let's see. We are a poly on today. <clears throat> and I believe we're going to the chest. Uh, or is that a dark room? I still the amount of daily challenge I've done, and I still never know what that uh, symbol means. I'm pretty sure that's the, the dark room. <laughs> I still get confused to this day, but we'll see. All right. So what's the objective of the daily challenges? Well, if you're familiar with the daily challenges, you want to try and get the best score. The way to get the best score is not take damage or minimize your damage, and to not take items which, uh, well, items which aren't that good. Uh, so you basically change your way of playing uh, But we all know that by now if you're watching the video um, And are familiar with daily challenges, you should know how they work by now, so I don't think I need to go into too great a depth or detail with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I Just got hit there. It's fine. All good. So we're a polyon. I find the polyon daily challenges aren't normally that great uh, Because I've played so many daily challenges now um, you, you tend to learn um, when you get a certain character and things like that, you're like, well, yeah, I kind of know that this isn't going to be that great. Um, just because there's normally a pattern, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, anyway, I don't know why I blew that up there as well. It could have been a crawl space and I got my bomb back anyway, so why not, right? Okay. So yeah, I normally find that when you're a polyon on daily challenges, they, they give you items that aren't that great and you have to kind of like make a run with your uh void item so oh okay we got mom's knife okay i'll just take that back okay we oh okay that's close we got mom's knife i'll take back everything i just said this should be a reasonably uh amnesia is fine this should be a reasonably uh comfortable run right now even though i'm only on the first floor and you're probably thinking well that's probably a little bit premature no i mean you got mom's knife on the first floor um, it could only really get better from there, in my opinion. Oh, God, okay. Uh, I will take the ball of bandages, and we're going to go down to the next floor. <laughs> so, yeah, getting Mom's knife is obviously <laughs> just goes back on what I just said about, oh, a poly on the dailies aren't normally that fun. But we'll see. I mean, I guess the only problem with Mom's knife is it breaks a lot of synergies. So, like, obviously the best synergy in the game, in my opinion, is Guppy, and I think everybody, or 99% of people will agree it's Guppy. Um, I would say that's not a synergy, that's a, uh, that's a transformation, but what I mean is the synergy with Guppy and Mom's Knife is not fantastic, so it kind of ruins that, but, um, obviously you're not guaranteed to get Guppy, so, all good. Alright, so yeah, this run, uh, this run is looking pretty strong right now. Stab these poops. Yeah, um... The video I did the other day, um, I've actually got quite a good feedback on it, so I appreciate that if you watched the video. Um, like I say, I, I'm not familiar, uh, I don't really care about that. I'm not really familiar with, uh, in doing, not familiar, but I'm not really that, uh, what's the word? Seasoned, let's say I'm not that seasoned when it comes to doing pre-recorded videos, so. We shall see, I might as well use this. Some money. Might get a blood bag as well, if we're lucky. No. I'm going to go and check out the shop, though. Even though it costs a key, you actually get more points for exploration, so I am going to go in. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can buy in there. You never know, there could have been a seven cent something or other in there, which could have helped. But, like I say, you I waste a key, but you get more points for the exploration. That's why I always go in shops uh, whenever I can. I mean, if I only had one key, I probably wouldn't have done. Um, I don't really care about either of these items, to be honest, so I am going to leave them, and then let's see if we can get angels. And do I want HP? Not particularly, so I'm going to avoid it, and I get a shot speed and damage up. Doesn't really matter about the shot speed, of course, because I've got Mum's knife. I don't think it really affects it that much, uh, or even if it does at all. But we did get a damage up, which is good. Obviously, we know that Mum's knife is high damage as it is, but... Any more damage? 
or any extra damage, I should say, is a uh, bonus. All right. Yeah, this one goes all the way, which is, my opinion, the fun ones. Oh, I'm going to do this. Hope we get a key back. I didn't. Okay, I might regret that because I might be able to get into the item room, but it's fine. You get points for doing this as well. So, yeah, I'm not too sure if many people are interested in daily challenge. I know a lot of people still do them because I use the website greedbot.com. It kind of, I don't know, people may have heard of it. I will leave the link in the description of this video if you want to go and check it out. Um, it is a website that basically gives you a more accurate score because it, it cuts out all the cheaters and things like that. If you go on the daily challenge scoreboard on like in game, you'll see a lot of like seventy thousand points and stuff like that, and just ridiculous points where people have cheated, uh, which obviously is unfair for the people who want to enjoy the daily challenges <clears throat> and get like a legitimate score. So go to greedbot.com. Oh, I think it's greedbot. Is it? It might be. I don't know if it's .com or .co.uk. UK. I'll find it out. I can't remember. Um, I'll put it in the description if you want to check it out. I'll put my link for my. Uh, own profile because you can sign in with your Steam profile and it tracks it tracks your score. Uh, okay, so I won't be taking little Chad. I will be voiding it just because I don't really care about getting half heart drops randomly, you know, every X amount of rooms. I am going to take um, Spirit of the Night here. Avoid that. We've got damage and luck up, which is good. <clears throat> so the only thing now that's a problem is I'm down to do two soul hearts, but or maybe three, unless it's a small rock. So uh, yeah, I'm down to over three soul hearts now, which is fine. I mean, I shouldn't be taking much damage um, with the setup I've got right now. Oh, we got a, a eternal heart as well. Sacrificial dagger. I am going to take that because it is good. Especially if I get some form of invincibility, of invincibility, uh, I can basically. So, so if I get uh, unicorn stump, that would be pretty sweet, because I can literally just press spacebar, walk into a room, and just kill everything, pretty much. Okay, we've got a lot of money here. I can get into the shop, which is we got for me. We'll take this. Very much. And then we're going to go. Uh, what was this card? Others. Sorry about that. I'm going to hold on to this two of clubs in case I get maybe blank card may show up at some point. Is there? Eh. In my opinion, that's a waste of a bomb, but I didn't know beforehand, so let's see. It could have been a secret room with three black hearts in that you can get, or it could have been a secret room with the angel statue in. But it wasn't. Can't open that. If I can get the paperclip trinket, I'll be pretty... Ooh. That's close. It threw me up a little bit. Alright. Yeah. It threw me up a little bit there when I hit the, the black poops. Oh good, we didn't get hit. Yeah, I like the daily challenges that go all the way. So either to chests, dark room, or like Mega Satan or something like that. Just because they're more fun, in my opinion. I don't like the ones that go to Mom. They're just kind of like... Because then, then you're trying to find a way to get further just to get more points. None of those are secret room. Okay. Alright. Probably here then. I got no bombs. I got a bomb now. Let's see if it's here. No. Okay, maybe it was here and I just misplaced the bomb. Hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, I will. T I mean, this is just turned out to be a good daily so far. So everything I said at the start of this video where I said, oh, well, Apollyon dailies aren't normally that great. Well, this one's actually pretty great right now. Um, this just shows how much I know. Okay, second secret room's got to be here. Oh. Okay, I, I should probably slow down with those. I should assess where I am and, and all the rooms first before I start wasting my bombs. Uh, second secret is probably actually here. Okay. Uh, yeah. The sack of sacks is like anything that gives you more tune ball sack of sacks. 
Uh, humbling bundle, sackhead, anything like that is 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 just extra. It's just a bonus when it comes to daily challenges because you just get more consumables. But fallen. I lost my holy mantle. So good. A dark bomb. Hmm. Still got. I, mean, I don't want any of those, so I'm just not going to take them. I will take dark bomb though. Don't get into a habit of not taking dark bomb, just because I I don't find myself lately to be struggling on runs for like HP and stuff because I'm you know I'm, I'm seasoned at this game. Let's put it that way. I'm a seasoned veteran at this game, so I I, I tend not to need. Um, anything that gives me more HP. I know I did take Holy Mantle, but that's just because you, you cannot turn down Holy Mantle. That's just that's just a uh, <laughs> that's just a crime if you turn down Holy Mantle. It's that good. I mean, it allows me to be a bit more aggressive actually. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be a little bit more aggressive. I don't have two keys to go into that room. Ah, damn! I didn't save a key for the boss trap room. We go in the shop. See if there's a key. Oh, I got no money. Okay. So, uh, let's just scrap that and let's just move on. I got two of clubs, which obviously gives me bombs, but yeah, that doesn't help me that much. Alright. So, we're doing good for time on this one. We're on the depths in, well, less than 10 minutes. Which is good. Obviously, I can go into curse rooms now for free. As long as I don't get hit when I'm in the curse room. Yeah, library. Um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I might as well. Now you probably say, oh, I should have picked those books up. I would have got Bookworm. Yeah, you're right, but I've got Mom's Knife. I don't really need Bookworm and you lose points. So. It's all about the points on daily challenges. But I'm not saying I'm the best at daily challenges because there's, there's people a lot better than me. I've on Afterbirth Plus. So I, I do both daily challenges. I do Afterbirth Plus and Afterbirth. Um, I might actually record both of them. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, um, I've never got first on Afterbirth Plus. I think the closest I've got is like fourth. Um, Afterbirth, I've got. I've came first about, I think four or five times. All right. Oh yeah, dot bomb. Do you think? Thank you. So yeah, I'm not the best at daily challenges, but I enjoy doing them. I mean, I'm okay compared to how many people play them still. I believe there's still, you know, a couple of thousand people still do them daily. So I, I normally come within the top 100 every day. Uh, I will take the bombs. Please. All right. So, we're just plodding along now. I mean, there's not really much I need. Uh, I mean, more damage would be great, but like say, 5 point, what was it? 5.5 .5 damage with Mom's Knife is pretty solid. I've got a substantial amount of HP. I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I haven't really used Void <laughs> as, as, as much yet, just because there's not been many items I wanted to Void. Okay, um, I have Voided all those books, which will become useful... Especially in Boss Rush. Um, I can use... I mean, i got the Book of Belial in there. i got a Book of Shadows. i got... What else did I get? The Bible. And the Book of Sin. I might as well use it now, actually. You forgetting i got Holy Mantle. I can be a lot more aggressive than I'm, I'm being right now. I hate these new enemies here, these these like super fast silkworm things. I really don't like them. There has been some things that they've added in these booster packs which I've not been a fan of, I'm not gonna lie. Which kind of uh kinda of put me off just playing the game in general. But um it's all good. Uh we'll take Jesus juice. Bad guess. Alright, we're on depths 2 within, what, 12 minutes? 13 minutes? Good, we're going to make boss rush easily. 
nine lives. I mean, I don't even, I don't need nine lives. I don't really care about becoming guppy, so I'm probably just going to avoid nine lives. Yeah, I don't really care about coming guppy just because, like I said previously, you know, the guppy, guppy transformations are not that great with, um, with mom's knife. So I don't really, the only benefit I'd be getting is flying, really. Okay, you do get some flies coming out, but um, I can already fly myself. So, and the main benefit I would get is um, the flight, and I can already fly. So, I said fly too many times in like <laughs> in like three senses there. I think I said fly about forty, like sixty percent of my words was fly in that sense, those senses, but nevertheless. We're just coasting through these right now. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive now. Uh, not with these guys, of course, but um, obviously enemies that don't explode. Just because of Holy Mantle. I can afford to be hit there, but it's fine. Alright, so I haven't been hit in quite a while, which is not, probably due, not really due to my personal skill in the game. It's just the fact that I've got such good a good layer set up right now. This door down here, the double key door. Alright, more consumables. There we go. Obviously I got a golden key, so that was all that was free. You forgetting I have Book of Shadows in in my void item here. I mean, I might as well use it as much as I can. Oh, there's the Book of Shadows again. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's void it again. I mean... <laughs> I mean, two Book of Shadows, obviously that's because I never actually physically picked it up from the library. Um, but we did just get a damage up there from the backstabber. Is, that, is it called backstabber? I think it's called backstabber that end. An item that I don't really care too much about. To be perfectly honest. Actually, I might... Oh, bombs are key. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Uh, I might have got the damage up there from Book of Belial, actually. I'm to think of it. I don't remember what my damage was before. Where are we? Okay, we're at the boss. Plenty of time. I kind of bounce stuff like that. That was weird. Right, what we got in the shop? Probably greed. Um. Blow this guy up for the deal with the devil chance. Although the deal with the devil so far have been pretty poor. <sighs> They've been pretty poor. Give me one second. Oh, there we go. Sorry. All right. Okay. Oh. oh, I got distracted there. <laughs> it's the problem. Me. This is the problem with me uh, pre-recording stuff. I am terrible when it comes to pre-recording. We're good though. All right. I'm still like used to the live streaming, it's weird. Alright, we're on the uh, mom. Alright, no deal with the devil. Um any of those. Gonna be whizzing through these. We, uh, we actually got two Book of Shadows, so it's going to last longer. I thought about that. I've just got to remember when I get to Satan that I don't put... I don't, um... I don't use my Void. Because that will kill me. I believe. I've never actually tried it, but I'm pretty sure if you use the Bible on the Devil, it kills you. Sure, that's the thing. Um. All 
Right, this is a really quick boss rush, of course. Pretty simple at the moment. Alright. We've nearly done with this now. Thank you, Monstro 2. Just made that a little bit easier for me. Charge. Alright. Should be nearly done now. I know I, I, know I just... Oh, crap. Luckily, I, I forgot I had Holy Mantle once again, so we didn't take any damage there. Good. There we go. We got Gish. A little Gish. I'm not really... Not really too interested in little Gish, to be honest. Hearts oh, doesn't do anything. Grab it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that. Leave. Okay, onwards. Alright. Well, it's the time. We're 18 minutes. We're going to make the hush fight really easily, so... I can afford to take my time here if I want to, but I'm just going to keep powering through. I might as well. This. Alright. Done's done. The room got answers. I'm gonna make my way to the top where the dice room. So yeah, now it's just a straightforward, uh, straightforward to the hush. Now, like I say, I got plenty of time. I can I can afford to waste some time if I really want to, but uh, I'm gonna try and do as much exploration as I can. Well, my game just went really framey there. Not good. Um. I can, I can, oh, I do have time. That's what I should say. I do have time to spare um, if I need to do so. I have 11, well, 10 minutes to do the rest of this floor and another floor. I mean, it's not going to be, um, not going to take that long, but I have time to play with if I need to. But I'm going to do every single room. But XP, exploration bonus, I know it's an XP bonus then. Exploration bonus. Okay. Slowly making our way up here. What do you got for me? Five room. Yeah, I'll do it. Four points. If you do a five room, you get an ex more exploration bonus. So I will be doing it. Once I finish this floor, I'll come back to this room and then um, I will do this floor again. Because, like I said before, I've got time to play. Uh, time to kill, basically. If I can waste that time constructively um, by doing the floor again, then yeah, why not? Set that guy free. I didn't even say what day this what day this daily challenge is for. <laughs> I've just realised. It's the it's the fourth of September. This is what this is the afterbirth plus fourth um, of September daily challenge. I will put it in the title anyway, so that will like slightly it will give me a you know excuse me for not saying it right at the start of the of the video. <laughs> just remembered. Well, I've just realised I should say. I oh, know. Bomb, thank you. Appreciate the troll bomb. I can, my game here keeps going really framey. I don't know why that is. Come on. Boat head. Um, a little bit too late for go ahead. I'm not really that interested in it. I'm not really too fussed if I get a deal with the devil on the next floor or not, just because 
the last floor I can get a deal with the devil. Okay, that, that could have something easing in it, but I don't really need anything. So I'm going to do this floor again. Okay, I've got two. Okay, maybe I could have took it because I've got two more floors technically. So I'm going to redo this floor, but it doesn't matter. I don't really need anything. So should be good. I need to work out why my game keeps going framey like that. It doesn't normally do that. Okay, pretty simple. Got a golden key there as well, which makes gold chests a must. Yeah, there's that framey, framey, framey again. I'll sort it out. I don't know if you can even see it on the recording. I can definitely see it. Alright. Boom. I'm actually going to be streaming later on um, on Mixer. I'll leave my Mixer again in the description like I did the other day. I'm going to be streaming the new Destiny. I know it's really odd, like me talking about Destiny. <laughs> in a in the Binding of Isaac video, but um, I will be streaming on Mixer, new Destiny 2 Forsaken DLC, in roughly three hours time. It probably from when this video goes up, it probably around about two hours time. Oh, this my game is it keeps dropping to 40 frames. What is this? <laughs> I have a really good PC. My game, uh, the, this game is dropping to. Oh, here we go again. And again, my game is dropping to 40 FPS. For no reason. Oh well. Doing it again. This is awkward. I don't know why it's doing it. But yeah, this is pretty. Let me uh, let me tab out a sec. Let me tab out. See this. This is why I'm no good at pre-recording because I have no idea when it comes to editing stuff. <laughs> when it's live, it's fine. But when it okay, it's still it's still like terrible. I don't know why it's doing that. It's really hard. I have to figure it out. Just hope it doesn't keep doing it when I'm in the hush fight because that's going to make it a little bit more difficult um, to dodge his shots. Especially when you know he's, he has a lot of bullets coming out of him or tears. Uh, And we got a battery back, so. Didn't lose a thing there. Uh, secret room, secret room. Let's try here. Poop with counterfeit penny. A little bit too late for that. I mean, I could just pick it up and carry it, but. I don't lose anything <laughs> by not carrying it, so. Um. Oh, no, so nearly at the boss. So I gotta remember that I've got another floor to do because I did redo this floor. It's probably on that room next. Next to where I was. Okay. I'm, I will take Mark. Uh, I, oh, can we get a battery and void this range upgrade? I do not need it. Let me see if the secret. Yeah, the second secret room. Walk into the fire. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Luckily, I've got Holy Mantle, so it's no damage. Major damage done. These. Now, what do you got for me? Uh, I don't really care about that. Alright. You grab this. I'm going to have four minutes to the next floor. That should be fine. I've done two floors in four minutes, so. One floor is not going to be a problem. Let me avoid this. Don't care about the pills. So you wonder why I didn't take... I'm not taking any of the pills. It, I don't know. It's just... I, I, I tend not to take the pills in this game unless I've got a PhD. Um, so that's why I just don't take them. This boss trap room. 
Oh, I don't know what this is going to be. Cursed Eye. Okay, it doesn't really do anything. Cursed Eye and Curse of the... T oh, no. <laughs> Alright. That's not great. Cursed Eye literally does nothing with Mom's Knife. But Curse of the Tower. Ooh. That's not a good one. I'll be fine, though. Card. We have the chariot. Need it. I'll keep hold of this two of clubs because if I can hold on to the end of the run, I could get up to 99 bombs. It obviously gives me more points. Points, points, points. That's what it's all about. I was doing pretty good on points so far, but then you got to remember that everybody else who's, who's uh, doing this right now would have had things like Mom's... Well, they would have definitely got Mom's Knife on the first floor unless they died uh, somehow. Um, they would have had pretty much everything that I've got right now, so... I've got to be... i got to remember that, that I'm not going to be the only one that's going to be doing pretty well on this daily challenge so far. Problem is, once it gets to... So, so basically, the, the further on the run you are... The more points you lose when you take damage. So it's worse to, to take more damage later on in the run. Because you lose more points. So I've been in the hush fight before and lost like two, three thousand points. Uh, which is obviously not good. Like I go in there with a decent score and then I end up coming out with an average score. Uh, for that for that point in the run. Like you get to learn what, what a decent score is. Like at the minute I got 32,000 which is actually pretty decent for where I am. Because I did an extra floor, but I gotta be careful here because I I'm rambling on and there is only a minute and forty seconds until the uh push door closes. So I gotta make a move, but I should still be okay. I can kill I can actually kill mom instantly. Because I do have the Bible in my void. So if I if I am struggling for time, I can inst instantly kill her anyway, so I, I don't think it'll be a problem. Oh god, I was to come. Be that quick. That. The easy fistula there. All right, we're on the uh, we're at the boss fight, so we're fine. Oh, okay. Check for a second secret room. Yes. Two diamonds. Uh, it doesn't do anything for me, so I'll just leave it. Hey, a poop. Uh, I'm not gonna even pay three soul hearts for that. It could be something really good. It could be brimstone. But then again, I'm not really. Do you know what? I'm not really that keen on mom's knife brimstone. I'd rather just have mom's knife or brimstone. So, what have we got in here? Got any curses? I've seen this item before. I don't think it's that great. I, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Jawbone or something. I will say money equals power over PhD. Piece of hearts. Hermit. There is battery in here. There is. Right. Uh, but yeah, I think that's called the Jawbone. 100% sure what it does. Fine. Alright, let's go and fight the Hush. The 37,000 points is actually really good. If I can uh, not take any damage here, uh, that'd be pretty good. I remember, I do have Holy Mantle as well. I'm just going to not do what I do a lot is actually lose Holy Mantle on the little sort of blue baby esque part of the fight. But I didn't. Could be pretty straightforward this hush fight. We've got 16 damage with Mom's knife. It's just pretty good. I I'm an idiot. That was dumb. <laughs> All right. I have no idea what I was thinking there with that bomb. Alright. 
more than halfway through. It's, we should be good. I should just do this. Oh, you had to, didn't you? Just had to go into your little uh, invincible state. Alright, we did a bit of damage on him. That's probably more my fault than anything. I should have known that he was going to do that. I might be able to kill him right now. Yeah, we got him. Okay, I didn't take damage. I didn't I didn't pay for that mistake I made with the bomb. That's good. Alright. We'll just double check what's down here. I forgot. Oh yeah, the jawbone and the... I could look I could use some bombs here and look for a crawl space, but I don't need to do that. Alright, we're on shoal. I don't care about that. <laughs> Nor that. A teratoma which I always find teratoma sometimes quite difficult to kill when you got mum's knife. Just because I don't know, I just always, sometimes I do, like, instead of just having normal tears, like, I find it more difficult with Mom's Knife, but obviously if you got high damage, it's fine. Um, just because all the spiders that come out. Dancing with that guy there. So, fortunately, we don't have to worry about self-sacrifice rooms on this run, because it goes to the dark room, of course. Need to worry about self sacrifice rooms. Alright. So, this is actually a really quick run. I, I could potentially get over 50,000 points on this run. Potentially. I just gotta not jinx myself and just take a whole bunch of damage because I've hardly took any damage. Thanks to Holy Mantle, thanks to Mom's Knife, Sack Dagger, and two Book of Shadows. <laughs> um, I've not taken any damage for a couple of floors now. Like you also, you do not get a, you don't get a point penalty for the Holy Mantle hit. To say if I got hit and lost my Holy Mantle, it doesn't t lose. You don't lose any points. So that doesn't count as uh, taking a hit. Which kind of it's kind of obvious in a way you think about it, but some people might not know that. Right. What would have been really cool just to top this run off would have been getting oh, what hit me there. I didn't know what hit me there. Um, would have been getting so we got sack sack of sacks. What would have been good is if we would have got humbling bundle as well. I would just made this run a lot. Uh, a lot more points. Well, gain a lot more points. But here I can't use my void or else it will kill me. Alright. I shouldn't have took damage straight away there. But it didn't, it didn't uh, affect me. Whoa, the void ball. Nope. I'm not going to the void. Not on this run. The reason why I'm not going to the void is because you get bonus points for killing the lamb, so it'd be kind of dumb of me to go to the void. Run. Now, if it was only to shoal to here, then yes, I would take it. But now we're going to the um, dark rooms. So one thing I don't know is if if I use the Bible, i.e. my void, on the lamb fight, will that kill me? I've never known that. I could quickly Google it, but I, I'm just going to safely say that I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to assume that it will kill me. Oh, God. I'm going to assume it will kill me and just not use it. Never know. I could get a Algae's Rune or something like that. Guys, we're gonna die. 
There we go. God, get out of jail free. Do anything, unfortunately. Well, I mean, it does. It opens doors, but <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do anything productive that I can make take advantage of. Well, I've got a really, really high score here. Um, I'm gonna get over fifty thousand easily. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> if something can go terribly wrong, I'll just take a whole bunch of damage, and uh, I'm gonna be made to eat my words and being so confident. But I did say we we're back on the first floor. Getting mom's knife on the first floor is obviously a good sign for the future of your run. And uh, we have... We we have got some really cool items over the way. Pretty standard. Not... I mean, pro, I don't need proptosis. Uh, so I'm not going to take it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take it. I mean, I'm going to take it. I lose a little bit of points, but I mean, the damage... Basically, just doubled my damage, so... Oh, there's a lot of these guys in here. Jesus Christ. I got hit. Alright. Okie dokie. So. I'll do the rest of this floor first before I take on the lamp. A little bit scary right there. Take. Empress. I mean... What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose two of clubs now. Get the Empress into the boss fight. That's going to die instantly. I always love killing Rag Mega really quick. Because when you get Rag Mega really early in a run and you, you just cannot hit him. Same with this guy. Um, I hate it. Because I mean Rag Mega. Uh, Rag Mega is not that. He's not tanky. But because he has that uh, period of invincibility that he does. It could be annoying when, say, you've got like I don't know, no no stat upgrades, and you're trying to uh, trying to kill him. It could be very annoying. Same with uh, I don't care about the the, the halo there. Uh, same with uh, what's he called? What's his name now? Big is it Big Horn? Yeah, Big Horn. That's it. Same with him. You get him early on a run. It's like oh no, there he is. Bye. That always feel it always feels good. It's like um, it's like payback for all those times where you're just struggling to kill him because you've got no damage or no DPS. All right, boss time. Should be looking for secret rooms to be honest, but when it comes to these floors, they can be anywhere. Well. The, the, the same rules apply, but they can literally be anywhere. Like, you can get the second secret room here, for example. So let's check. Not there. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about secret rooms. There we go, he's dead. What score do we get? 54,196. I am ninth. Not bad. Uh, where's my damage penalty? 1,151 is really good. Swag bonus is pretty low, but that's because I couldn't really find anything else to amplify or or um, extend or increase the uh, the spike bonus. I, I picked up everything I could see. So... Let's look at the scores here. So this guy at the top here, 66,000. That's a fake score. There's no way he got 66,000. I think it's physically impossible. So um, I am actually going to be sixth. Uh, but yeah, greenbot.com shows you the scores. You can just search for anybody on there. Um, and yeah, you can see the scores. So I'll link that in the description. But yeah, that was the daily challenge for the 4th of September, 2018. There may be another video on here later on. Um, for the afterbirth challenge, I might do the afterbirth daily challenge and record that as well and uh, put that up because I don't know if people still do those as well, so we'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching if you have, appreciate it. Um, thank you for the uh, for the support on the last video, by the way. That's crazy, I wasn't expecting to get um, as many people watching it, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, and yeah, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.